So, you live in a mobile home. You're trying to figure out where to put a fish tank. Well, let's let's dive on in and uh, discuss that. So, oh, you're like me and you live in a single wide, a trailer. Where do you put a fish tank? There's nowhere on the internet to find this stuff out. There's no one that gives you proper information. Well, I'm going to give you proper information on where to stick a fish tank. Now, in a mobile home, there's one or two places you can stick a fish tank. All right? First off, the place you can stick a fish tank is on your, your interior wall. Now, why would you stick it on the interior wall? Well, this is a 75-gallon. And anybody that knows trailers or how the floors are built, you have two metal beams that run, you know, this way in your mobile home. So if you get a big enough fish tank, you can actually put a one. That's where I plan on putting the 125 is right here. Now, the 125 is six feet, uh, six feet long. So I'm guessing by the time I put that six foot tank, it'll go from wall to wall. I've got to have it to where those two beams are running directly underneath my fish tank, which should be fine. Now, if you give me a second, I'm going to go ahead and show you a diagram of the two metal beams that I'm talking about. So, now in the other video where you see your metal floor joists are that run the entire length of the trailer, let's talk about why you should put it on the outside or on the exterior wall. Well... Your exterior wall is going to more than likely be your strongest because you have your rafters on top of your metal beams that run this way every 16 inches. Now I know that's in, uh, I think that's in every trailer, so don't hold me in the comment section that they're 17 or you know six and three quarters or something. But that's why you should put it on the outside. Now I'm going to show you a diagram of exactly why you should, because you have your metal supports with little metal rods that hold up the outsides of the trailer. So, give me one second, and I'll show you the diagram. So, now that I've given you some uh, examples of where to put your fish tank in a mobile home, now you know exactly where you can stick it, where it's the best place, now that you know the anatomy of the underneath of a trailer and how they're built and how they look in the diagrams, now you should be able to determine where's the best place to put it. But like I said, my 125 is gonna go on this wall right here because I believe my metal beams are going to be exactly where I need them or I might just stick it right here where the TV's at. I don't know yet, but now that you know the simplicity of where to put a tank now in a trailer. Um, one other step that I'm going to do, if wherever I put my fish tank, now I just thought of this, so get this. Go to the store and get some uh, half inch thick plywood. Go ahead and spend the money and get the good half inch stuff, all right? Really thick, thick plywood. Now wherever you stick a fish tank, no matter if it's a 55, a 75, a 125, yada, 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 etc. Put that piece of plywood underneath your fish tank because that's going to give your fish tank extra support no matter what size it is. It's going to give it that extra layer of support to distribute the weight up off your floor. So I hope you all learned something from this video. I did a video like this months and months ago, but nobody wanted to watch it. So I made a brand new one. And as always, I will see you all in the next video. I hope I helped at least one person out. Always hit the like button. Let's see if we can get up to 30 likes and 5 dislikes. I know those are coming, but I'll see y'all tomorrow, and uh, yeah.